Hello everyone and welcome to this video. Today we're testing FSD beta version 10.5. If you didn't get a chance to watch my latest video, I invite you to do so because after a year of testing, we were able to finally get a zero intervention drive on the test route that I've been doing. And that makes me believe that we should probably shake things up and try something different, which is what we're gonna do today. So we have a couple of destinations set up in the GPS and we'll be doing some of those drives to see if we can have the same result. So stay tuned, I'm gonna put the camera on the roof and I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so we're ready to go. I'm gonna engage FSD from this parked uh, space. Let's see if it gets us out of here. Yeah, it's turning around, very good. So as a reminder, if you see that blue steering wheel at the top, that means that FSD is engaged. If it turns gray, that means I'm driving manually. Any disengagement or any report uh, will go to Tesla and hopefully it will, they will take that into account and be able to improve for the next time. Okay, very good so far. It's um, it's very confident. It, it, that clear to go? If you guys watch uh, some of the previous versions, I can't remember exactly which version, but there's a concept of clear to go, um, basically telling the car that it's it's okay to proceed. It's really confident. Like once it has that clear to go, it just it just uh, goes through it. Um, okay, so we're making a right turn here. This traffic light. We I guess we could go on the right hand side, although. That is a bicycle lane, so humans would probably drive there. Let's see what FSD will do. There's nobody behind us, so we're not slowing down traffic or anything, and we're gonna get the red traffic light, so I'm gonna wait here. We, uh, yeah, there's no sign that says we can't make a right turn here at this stop uh, traffic light. Just have to be very careful. Visibility is limited on the left-hand side. We do have a building. So, oh, there's a truck that's gonna squeeze in on our right-hand side. Interesting, okay. So this is what humans would do, which is wrong because there is a bicycle lane. And because there is a bicycle lane, oh, where are you going? Oh, okay. this truck is being an idiot. Okay, that's not good from FSD. We shouldn't have done that. So I think, um, so, um, it considered the, tr the truck was on our right hand side and it considered the truck as being a parked truck. So what it was trying to do is go around that truck, but it was making a very large, uh, uh, it was basically going on the left hand side to make that right turn. So just to make a very ample room for that turn. Now, because of humans, this truck should not have been on the right hand side. There is a bicycle lane and we shouldn't be on that bicycle lane when we're making that turn. Um, so FSD needs to kind of uh, understand that humans are not perfect and that they're going to do something silly like that. Um, so it's a good, I mean, it's a disengagement, but it's a disengagement that I'm not surprised um, of because it's a tough situation. So as a, as a human, I would probably be on the right hand side, although, like I said, it's not what you should be doing. So FSD would have to be better than human, superhuman, and yeah. That's what it's trying to do at least. All right, so we're gonna come up to this left turn. I don't have a lot of visibility. This truck is really blocking the view. Um, it, you know, obviously we're following them, but we're following him or her. And, oh, avoiding, what is it, a butthole? Uh, interesting. <laughs> Toasty! I'm not sure what it is doing. Yeah, no, it's not gonna work. Uh, all right, it's trying to make a left turn, so... Yeah, that, that's not gonna work. There's a lot of traffic coming. I uh, will be taking over, um, I'm going to break, I'm going to take over and I'll be trying to reinsert myself here. Um, not sure why, 
Not sure why I went on the right hand side of that lane. I know, people will think I'm a douche. I'm sorry, that's not what I meant. Okay, is he gonna let us go through? Yes, he is. Okay. Okay, alright, so, not the best. It's definitely not a zero intervention uh, drive, but it's okay. We'll get to test something new. Okay, so it's gonna go on the right hand side here. Very good. And again, right side here, we have a stop. Okay, very good. And this intersection here is very busy. But we're making a right turn here, so it should be okay. We only need to make sure there's no car on the left-hand side. So it is stopping in the stop sign. It is creeping a little bit. Let's see. We do have a gap now after this white SUV, so we should be able to go. I'm gonna give it plenty of time. There's a car coming, but we have time. And the car coming is coming actually on the uh, left lane, so our lane was clear. Um, so that was fine. Let's see. Okay, it's sitting behind it, which is good. I was a bit scared that it would try and pass this uh, car right in front of us. And I can remember your dramatic announcement that by 2035, GM would be 100% electric. You changed the whole story, Mary, wherever, wherever you are. You electrified the entire automobile industry. I'm serious. So there is a lot of work that needs to be done by Tesla. As you can see from the visualization, I, uh, cars are appearing and disappearing. My understanding from AI Day was that this would, st like that, that would improve. And when FSD sees a car and then it's being obstructed, it's supposedly keeping that car in the visualization. Like it knows it's behind that obstruction. But um, I guess it's still not implemented uh, right now because, as you saw from that intersection, it was in and out. Um, but it's promising. Like, if you guys haven't watched AI Day, there's a lot of information in there. I'm certainly not an expert or very technical, but um, if you analyze that and take your time to go through it, it's, it's providing some useful information. we go. All right. So I usually like to test this route here just to see how FSD is behaving with parked cars on the right hand side. We've had on previous versions, um, it was very um, wobbly. So it would go on the right hand side because it thinks, you know, I have plenty of room to, to, to use that area like this, like, you know, it's sticking on more on the right hand side. It, really does not need to do that. Um, there's a lot of cars parked on the right hand side and therefore you can stick and really get uh, aligned with the, the, the middle, uh, the center uh, line. Okay, there is, uh, it's slowing down heavily here. I'm gonna report that. Um, not sure why I didn't see any stop sign or anything. Okay, so it's gonna move over for those cones. There is a truck or a van on the left hand side, but that's good. Okay, it's gonna correct itself and go back. That's fine. Very good. So yeah, and um, so going back to those parked cars on the right hand side, um, it was not so good at the previous versions, but it, it, it's doing a better job now. So um, I kind of stopped testing that. Don't open your door. Okay, very good. Making this turn here. Very nice. Okay, so we're coming at the destination here and I'm gonna set up the next one. Um, the interesting thing about the next destination is that it's gonna take us all the way down to that this road and then it's gonna make a U-turn or it's gonna try and make a U-turn. I've never, never managed to get this to work, um, but it's definitely something that we're gonna keep trying once in a while just to see how it's doing and I'd love to have it to work at some point. Uh, it does require the car to go in reverse, so 
don't think that's going to happen with this version, but we'll see. Here we go. Unable to uh, to complete maneuver. Please assist now. And if I do press and force it, it's going to just go straight and then no point. We can try it a little bit, but you'll see. So I'm forcing it, I'm forcing it, and it's going to be like, eh, what are you doing? Okay, so let me take over here and make this U-turn for us. Who knows? Maybe the the eleven. Maybe the eleventh version of it will 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 um, have reverse, and it will be able to do those complex maneuver. I say complex. It's not that complex once you break it down, but it's just um, FSD needs to be confident that it's doing it safely. All right, here we go. So going back to that main road, we're gonna test a few speed bumps. What I noticed with the speed bumps is previous version of 10.4 had the visualization for it, so you could see it on the sc car screen. But in this version, we don't have it anymore. So I think the car sees it and reacts to it, but it doesn't represent it on the screen. We'll have the conf confirmation in a few seconds when we get to that uh, next street. But um, when I tested it on this, um, the, my, my uh, standard route, there is a speed bump that um, was uh, represented on 10.4, but it didn't show on 10.5, so we'll see. Okay, we have a gap now. We can go. There is a truck coming, but the truck is on the um, left lane. Once the truck goes, we're clear. Okay, you can go now. And there's a pirate on the right-hand side. I don't know if you, you can see it or you saw it. It's being represented as a human. So, um, it's obviously... Something that Tesla will at some point have to take care of or be careful um, Try to differentiate a real human or not speed bump. Okay, it's slowing down for it And nothing on the visualization. There's another one coming up You gonna slow down for it. It is slowing down. Yeah, 19 17 Still nothing on the screen. So my guess is that they've pulled it Um yeah, I, I would think that they pulled it. Oh. Okay, right turn here. Okay, so I'm gonna be careful on the left hand side. There's nobody, there's a. Yep, it's all clear now. We can go. Yep, all good. You can go, car. Okay. So yeah, um, I don't know about the speed bump and why they took it away, or the visualization at least. Maybe they wanted to have it um, uh, represented better, I don't know, or maybe a different design. We'll see, hopefully it will come into future versions. Or maybe it's just simply distracting the driver and, you know, we don't have everything on the visualization right now. Um, if you look at the, some of the videos online with um, dev units, you can basically toggle on and off every single thing that the car sees and recognize. And if you do that, then it becomes very overwhelming very quickly. So Tesla needs to be very careful as to what they're going to represent on the screen so it's not confusing the, uh, the driver and allowing them to really see the useful information uh, at a glance. So. Okay, here we go. So the next traffic light, we... Oh, actually, okay, it's a different route than I'm, I'm used to, um, which is fine. But um, usually I have a route that takes us onto the highway or the freeway. It's very busy, as you can see, it's all red. So usually you have to be on the right-hand side here to be able to go into the highway. But in previous versions, maybe this one too, I don't know, we'll, we'll, you know, we'll have to do more testing. Uh, FSD would usually stay here on this lane, go cross the traffic, uh, the intersection, the traffic light, and then dive into the highway, which is not what you want. You want to be on the right-hand side before the traffic light and then be able to, to get into the highway. But as you can see, it's very, very busy. It's all red, and therefore it's rerouting us just straight ahead, which is fine. Um, again, we're trying to do something different than usual. Okay, if we go... 
okay it's being very careful with bikes uh, a little bit too much on the left are you gonna correct itself okay i know i'm gonna take over it was a little bit too much on the left um so okay very good you can see everything on the screen all the lines not sure why it's at 25 we should be at 30 so i'm gonna um keep the stalk down when you you know press the stalk and leave it down it goes to the speed limit so here's the tips for you guys all right it's proceeding I did put the blinker on, not sure why. Um, I'm gonna I'll report that. Oh, slowing down for this. Oh, slowing down for this. Um, come on. For the car that crossed us, uh, crossed in front of us. So. All right. And here there's no line, um, so the car needs to make sure that it stays on the right hand side. It is a two lane street. Okay, it, it wasn't it wasn't perfect, but it was fine. It was safe. Oh, it's slowing down heavily. Okay, and maybe it's a, the heel. Like sometimes you see there, we, we don't see the the street so or the rest of the road. So sometimes it just slow down just to be very careful. Um, and I like that. It's pretty good. All right, it's gonna get really busy now, so I'm gonna take over here. We're gonna stop the um, um, the the video. Um, I'm not sure why it was beeping. I think I didn't press the stalk all the way up. I think it was trying. Thought I was going to reverse or something. So, yeah. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's a bit different. Like I said, we were trying to put the the car or FSD to a different challenge, not the same route. Something that um, um, we are gonna do more just so we can get less uh, of those perfect drive perfect is boring um, and in my last video I although it was a zero disengage mode zero intervention it was not perfect like there is a lot of improvement that needed to be made so we might use that route later on in a couple of versions just to see if it got any better like improvements and smoother etc so um, yeah thank you very much for tuning in if you like this video make sure to click like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you very much. See you. Bye.